Hello chess friends and welcome to Yazarov's chess channel and welcome to our series playing d4. So in this series I'm going to show you some good lines and some good opening preparations against particular defenses and against particular sidelines of defenses because uh, there are also some uh, many sidelines for instance of the King's Indian, Nimtso Indian and many of this uh, very often openings that are played. And today I decided to show you really a uh, good game I think I've played recently against the so-called Horvitz defense. And although the Horvitz defense is not the Dutch defense but it's similar structure and I decided to add this particular video on uh, the series how to beat the, the uh, how to beat the Dutch defense if you're familiar with my YouTube chess channel I've created a series uh, playing d4 but I have also a separate playlist how to beat uh, the Dutch defense and this Horvitz def defense although as I said it is not the Dutch defense from the beginning but it has uh, similar structures and similar ideas and I think some Dutch defense players will try the Horvitz defense instead of the the, the Dutch uh, because they're trying to make a different move order uh, they're trying to to trick you that you go into a different line that I've explained. I've explained this knight to h3 line to beat the Stonewall Dutch, but sometimes they but your opponent can choose a different move order and trick you that you play something else and that's why I think we should be also familiar with the Horvitz defense in order to beat basically the Dutch defense setup. So uh, I played I think a really cool game because I had only one inaccuracy, uh, no mistakes, no blunders in the game. I'll show you of course what's the inaccuracy. You can be the judge of that move. Uh, I think it was still a good move. I had a different uh, move uh, lined in, in my head that uh, was winning but still it was a good move but it was of course uh, not the best uh, move that suggested by the engine but still I think I played really really uh, an awesome game. So let's check out now the Horvitz defense and what are the ideas and how we should counterplay uh, this this setup so i play the move d4 my opponent plays the move e6 uh, i play the move knight to f3 d5 and now c4 here comes the move f5 it's similar as i said to the uh to the um Dutch defense tall wall setup because our opponent will try this normal idea knight to c uh, pardon me c6 then a knight to f6 and knight, knight to e4 his common outpost bishop to d6 the problem for me now I've suggested you uh, in my Dutch defense series how to beat the def Dutch to go into the Fiajeto with bishop to g2 and then the move knight to h3. So, so far it, the move knight to h3 is not possible anymore and basically my opponent tricked me a little bit. So, that's why I played now a different line. C takes d5. Queen to d5 is not good because you're leaving your backward pawn. The queen can kick the, uh, can be kicked away with my knight to c3. Bishop to b4. I can play bishop to d2. So, that's why e takes d5 and I've undermined basically why a black spawn center that black is building always in the stonewall setups this move f5 uh d5 and still knight to f6 knight to um, e4 so that's why i continue to develop knight to c3 we have c6 queen to c2 this is a very important move that i want to uh, to memorize against the horvitz defense because it's a delaying move we are not exposing ourselves we don't want to show our cards basically we don't want to play the with the bishop immediately this queen to c2 is a delaying move but it's not a problem still we are developing uh, the queen somewhere and the most important tactical threat about this move queen to c2 is that the queen is on the same uh, file like the bishop so there are maybe some tactical threats with the move knight to d5 and then queen takes c8 if c takes d5, d5 hands so so far it's not possible because the queen is protecting it but here uh, my opponent tried move knight to f6 going into this normal idea he wants to play his normal stonewall dutch knight to e4 outpost and we are not allowing this scenario because i played the pinning idea bishop to g5 and now comes the tricky part of our setup against the horvitz defense my opponent play the move bishop to e7 which is um, maybe slightly better than this move bishop to d6 and here i want you really to memorize one tactic uh, bishop takes f6 now is the possibility now black has two choices uh, queen to f6 or g takes f6 g takes f6 of course weakens the pawn structure too much i think in front of the king we can play normal uh, setups e3 bishop to d3 attacking the weak f pawn but now if Queen takes f6 happens, then comes now our tactic, knight takes, d, uh, knight takes d5. As I said, the queen is very important here and creates this tactical threat on the c file. c takes d5, uh, then we can queen takes c8, and I think uh, black has really some, some troubles. The cool thing about this move, knight takes d5, is that we cannot get checked with bishop to b4, still this knight is covering that square. So that's why uh, here... Um, 
my opponent's right after the move knife to f6, bishop to g5, bishop to e7. But here I recommend you how to beat the whole with setup because again, black will try probably in some occasions to move knight to e4 or he'll try knight from b to d7 then i think our attack is simply too slow what we want to do now is get the bishop on a weird square after bishop to f6 g takes f6 as i said weakens the pawn structure in front of the king too much bishop to f6 and we go now e3 although black has now the bishop pair but he look at this bishop it's not so good we would love as i said to have uh, some knights here maybe on f6 and then cement again uh, uh the knight on e4 because the main and the main strategical goal of any dutch defense player when he builds this stonewall setup that he wants to play on this knight outpost on e4 so now now we have again a clear target it's the weak f5 pawn uh in the game castling bishop to d3 you see g6 building now a very nice pawn structure and now comes really i think a line that you should use against this uh, horrid setup h4 we want to play h5 split the pawn structure probably the best way here for a black is even to play the move h5 and then continue with with the move c5 in the game my opponent tried bishop to g7 and we play h5 anyway if g takes h5 we can take out this pawn this pawn is a problem uh, there are some tactical threats around the square h7 so it's not a good choice in the game my opponent tried g5 we of course play the most aggressive line h6 kicking away the bishop bishop to h8 and now g4 if f takes g4 happens then of course we have a very very nice attack on the king the king i think is uh, very very endangered here so that's why it's not a good choice in the game knight to a6 was played by my opponent the main idea about this move is of course to create a very nice fork on the bishop and the queen in some occasions of the whole uh, of this type of pawn structures is po it, it is possible to take bishop takes a6 um uh, b takes a6 and maybe cement the knight further on e5 but that i think would be only possible if we play for instance the move f4 first and then we cement our knight on f4 uh, oh pardon me on e5 after bishop takes if e5 uh, f takes e5 we could have a very nice pawn chain uh, in the center of the board this bishop would be bad as it's blocked out by its own pawns but that would be only possible if i wouldn't have played move g4 in, uh, if i would have played instead of maybe the move f4 so that's why i decided to stay of course uh, with the long diagonal here uh, i decided to stay with my queen and bishop battery and played first the move a3 preventing this idea my opponent tried knight you see seven we have a g takes f5 and i think from this point on i really have a comfortable game in the game bishop to f6 was played chaos link what we want to do now is of course to create a very nice attack on the g file because we have opened the position we want to include both of our rooks with this bishop and queen battery with this knight this knight still can be remaneuvered uh, somewhere here and maybe attack even the e6 maybe the g6 square here in the game uh, b5 was played i played the idea rook to g1 here uh, king to h8 if you try for instance to play um something like uh, a5 then we cannot take uh, bishop takes g5 and then rook to h5 uh, this is simply lost i think again for for black so that's why black has to take care of first of the problems on on the g file plays king to h8 i played rook to h5 anyway and that's the inaccuracy the only inaccuracy that i played in the game which was evaluated by the stockfish engine the engine says all the other moves are perfectly fine rook to h5 uh, the engine suggests here knight to e5 immediately of course uh, it's probably better it's of course attacking the c6 uh, here pawn and after bishop takes uh, e5 we have uh, d takes e5 we have two very powerful connected pawns we can play f6 and then maybe rook to g5 uh, rook to h2 rook to g2 and maybe creating uh, enormous pressure on the h file but i had really a different thing in mind uh, i tried rook to h5 because i wanted to attack this uh, pawn further in the game rook to g8 and now i play played knight to e5 so okay this was as i said my only inaccuracy in the game queen to e8 was played and you can pause the video and try to find now maybe the best next move um, uh, we have now a problem uh, the rook is hanging and also the knight is hanging the bishop and the uh, queen are of course attacking this uh, knight twice and first of all we should notice also that the c6 pawn is protected 
okay uh, i hope uh, you can find uh, really a good continuation because here i played a very aggressive knight to g6 of course you have to react uh the king is checkmated uh, so you have to take out the knight h takes g6 i played f takes g6 and now knight to e6 here black is trying desperately to get uh, some kind of another defender in, into the game and now i tried g7 again leaving my rook hanging but of course it comes with a check uh, my opponent again has to react uh, he cannot play king to h7 this square is protected so he has to take uh, knight takes g7 we have h takes g7 the cool part about this move that it comes with a double check so again you don't have time to take out the rook so that's why king to g7 and i played rook to h7 here king to f8 and now maybe try again uh, to find the best next move uh, what we always should know this uh, in chess uh, is to search for attacking possibilities uh, what i notice in my position is that the rook is perfectly fine this rook is perfectly fine i have a queen and bishop battery i think f4 maybe to break the position would be a little bit too slow f4 leads also into complications after queen to e3 so i really needed a new tactical shot i really needed new aggressive uh, moves which are basically forcing black to react that's how you should think when we are on the attacking side which is the next attacking move what uh, is the next attacking uh, mode sort of because i really have as i said these four pieces perfectly fine and that's why i decided to play a very very nice tactical shot again knight takes b5 what i've noticed now that uh, my opponent is a little bit vulnerable here uh his rook is a little bit stuck here the queen the bishop is a little bit loose on the board after knight to b5 we have c takes b5 queen to c5 uh first of course attacking the king the king has to be covered with the bishop or the queen of course we want to uh cover with the bishop bishop to e7 but now queen to d5 attacking the rook my opponent tried bishop to d7 and i played queen to f3 and it was game over really nice path of the queen and in this position my opponent resigned nothing can be done queen to f7 is checkmate queen to f6 this uh, bishop to f6 queen to f6 will happen so you cannot cover with any piece i'm not seeing here really good moves uh, for black it's uh, basically a game over so uh that is said here bishop to d7 queen to f3 and in this position black resigned so but let's go back very important uh, things to reckon recognize this uh, um horvitz setup so in the beginning we want to undermine this pawn chain uh, this uh, really fixed pawn structure in the center that the black is building so we want to undermine the pressure trading off the pieces in this, uh, the pawns in the center c5 uh, c6 queen to c2 delaying move we don't want to expose ourselves because if, if we play for instance a bishop move black can challenge us immediately uh, with bishop to d6 we have to trade off queen to d6 the queen uh, will be maybe activated here to b4 and i think uh, black can go now into normal ideas knight to f6 knight to e4 this very powerful stonewall outpost on e4 so that's why as i said queen to c2 delaying waiting the knight to come out if bishop to e7 happens now we don't want to compete of course we can now play bishop to f4 uh, competing here on the on the dark squares and now play something like e3 but as i said here after knight to f6 bishop to g5 taking and then h4 h5 here as i said i think from this point on after g4 i really had a comfortable game so okay i hope that you realize these ideas and i hope that you don't mind that i will add uh, this video to the uh, how to beat the dutch defense playlist because in my opinion this is still something like the stonewall dutch it's not the same but it's similar and i think you can meet these ideas played by a dutch defense player or by maybe slav defense player so this harvest uh, Horvitz uh, defense is really playable sometimes for black there are also some ma uh, many ideas I'll explain also the main ideas of the Horvitz defense in the continu continuation of my series and I think I'll add the, the new videos also into the how to beat the Dutch defense playlist so okay I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that you realize this tactical ideas of this particular opening if you want to study more the d4 play check out my whole list uh, playing d4 here is the link and if you want to maybe study the game against the dutch defense check out my how to play against the dutch uh, here's also the link and if you like this content you can also subscribe to my channel see you soon with some more videos and uh, chess is the best of course